It's a small island far from mainland United States, but Puerto Rico's economic troubles could have far-reaching implications. It has now asked the U.S. for bankruptcy protection. It's the first time an American state or territory has ever done so. Puerto Rico lies around 1,500 kilometers from Florida, with Cuba and the Dominican Republic in between. It's not an American state, but a possession of it. And its economy has been struggling for more than a decade. Part of the problem is that it borrowed far more than it took in taxes. Today, it owes creditors $73 billion. In 2006, that figure stood at an already hefty $43.5 billion. And its debts tower above the $9 billion that the city of Detroit owed bondholders when it went bust in 2013. At that time, that was the biggest ever U.S. municipal bankruptcy. So how did Puerto Rico get into this mess? Well, the island used to be a tax haven for some big businesses, including the pharmaceutical industry. But the U.S. Congress ended those tax breaks in 2006. As those companies closed shop, many Puerto Ricans began migrating to mainland United States. From a population of 3.8 million people in 2000, Puerto Rico now has fewer than 3.5 million people. And about 12% of them are unemployed, more than double the U.S. national average. So what's next for Puerto Rico? Well, its government wants its creditors to forgive large chunks of the money they've lent the territory. Several large private fund managers are gearing up for a court battle that could take years. But the government also owes another $50 billion to its own pensioners. And with even further cuts to social services in store, it's Puerto Rico's own people who could end up paying the greatest price. Joining me now from Bayamon in Puerto Rico is Jose Caraballo. He's the president of the Association of Economists. Jose, thank you very much for joining us here on Money Talks. Uh, you're in thank Puerto you. Rico. Tell us a little bit about how people down there are reacting to this news about Puerto Rico looking for bankruptcy protection. Well, in principle, it's not good to enter bank into bankruptcy, but it can provide a fresh start. And in that sense, bankruptcy represents good news for, for Puerto Rico. We try here for about two years for voluntary agreements, and only one um, was reached, and it was a pretty bad deal that includes in increasing the electricity cost. So in that sense, uh, even though in principle it's not good bankruptcy, uh, right now it is actually good news over here. Interesting. Um, who do you blame for Puerto Rico's troubles? Its past governments borrowed well beyond their means. Or is it the U.S. federal government for not giving Puerto Rico the kind of boost to growth that it needs? I think it's a shared responsibility between the U.S. and Puerto Rico. The U.S. Uh, have blocked the competitiveness of the Puerto Rican economy with navigation acts, with dependency, with the removal of tax incentives that you were just mentioning, and also with colonialism. And on the other hand, the Puerto Rican government has rest have, uh, in, in federal policies to uh, stimulate the economy. So I think it's a shared responsibility between the Puerto Rican government and the U.S. government in that sense. Um, Puerto Rico's governor now, Ricardo Rosello, has allocated some $800 million a year for principal and interest payments on the bonds that we mentioned. That is a lot less than the $3.5 billion uh, that the creditors say is the actual cost of servicing those debts. How confident are you that the government is going to get its way on this? Well, I think that those $800 million um, per year is the sustainable debt service. Uh, right now, we have a, a broken economy. We have been more than 10 years in a huge economic depression. Actually, the biggest economic depression that we have seen in Puerto Rico in more than 100 years, and larger than the depression of the 1930s. So I believe that 800 um, million per year is about the, the um, actual sustainable debt service. Um, we used to have a very unsustainable debt that was um, 3 point billion. Um, dollar per year, but right now I believe um, the fiscal plan is right in, in terms of the debt service. 
Jose Carabello, President of the Association of Economists in Puerto Rico, thank you ever so much for joining us.